How's it going guys, this is Digibur. And in today's video, we decide to share some helpful tips on how to remove a forgotten passcode for iPad users. So, if you have a problem with your iPad passcode, then this video we're gonna show you how to unlock an unavailable or security lockout iPad and remove the lock screen passcode. Alright, let's say you have an iPad, and you just forgot the passcode so you cannot go past the lock screen. Maybe your iPad is working well, but you can't use it because you don't remember the code. Or, it could get worse if you entered so many incorrect passcodes that your iPad got unavailable or security lockout. Actually, Apple has a security measure for protect your personal data. That is, if you have unsuccessful attempts to unlock your iPad over 5 times, your device will get unavailable for 1 minute, 15 minutes, 1 hour. And when you keep trying to guess the correct iPad passcode, you may remove the possibility to unlock your iPad by the 10th attempt. If so, you'll get locked out of your iPad with only an unavailable or security lockout message on the lock screen. It doesn't matter if your iPad says unavailable or even security lockout. Here we're gonna teach you how to remove the lock screen and how to unlock your iPad without using a passcode. So, no matter which iPad model you're using, if your iPad is already updated to iPad OS 15.2 or newer version, then the easiest option you can take to unlock your unavailable iPad is to use the Erase iPad button on the lock screen. And this will work only when you know your Apple ID password. If not, I'll show you another way to help you unlock an unavailable iPad without Apple ID. You can simply check it out in the method too. Alright, as you can see, this is an iPad stuck on the lock screen. Here's a message telling you it's unavailable right now and you'll need to try again in 5 minutes. Here, the erase iPad doesn't show up yet. So what we're going to do is to enter one more wrong passcode on the lock screen. This is to activate the erase iPad option for the unlock. Now, you can see the lock timer adds up to 15 minutes. And at the bottom of the unavailable screen, here comes up the erase iPad option. So, we tap on the Erase iPad button. On the next screen, you'll be given two options. Your iPad is in security lockout. You can whether try again 15 minutes later, or erase and reset your iPad now. Since you forgot your iPad passcode, the first option won't work for you. So now, tap the Erase iPad button to continue. Then, Apple will ensure that this Erase iPad option is performed by the real owner. You'll be asked to input your Apple ID password. If you can't remember your Apple account password, fast towards the next method. I'll tell you what to do. Now, type your Apple ID password and let the erasing process start. After a few minutes, you will see the Apple logo appear, which means your iPad has been reset to its factory settings. The forgotten iPad passcode has been removed. Now, take your time to go through the setup process. You can recover your content and all your data from an iCloud or computer backup when the apps and data screen shows up during the setup. If you are not sure what operating system your iPad is using, or the Erase iPad is not available on your lock screen, I got you covered as well. Here, we're gonna use a third-party tool called iPhone Unlocker. It's compatible with all iPhone and iPad devices. No matter you've got an unavailable iPad or iPhone, it ensures a successful unlocking on any iOS or iPad OS devices. So, first of all, run it on your computer. You can find the download link in the video description below. Simply click it and install the unlocking tool on your Mac or PC. Once you open it, you can easily find the swipe passcode from this simple interface. So we click it to start, and here comes the most important part. We're gonna connect the unavailable iPad to the computer, so we can perform an unlock operation on a locked Apple device. So now, use your USB cable to connect your iPad with your computer. It usually recognizes your iPad quickly. If not, we power off the unavailable iPad first, and then follow the on-screen steps to enable the recovery mode. If you're using an iPad without a home button, simply hit the volume up button, and hit the volume down button. Then keep holding the top button. Wait for a few seconds until the recovery mode screen appears on the iPad. You can release the top button now. On the other hand, for an iPad with a home button, 
We're gonna hold the home button and the top button. As the same, hold the buttons. Don't let them go before you see the recovery mode screen on your locked iPad. Alright, once your iPad entered the recovery mode, confirm the device information and click the start button again. This will download a suitable iPad OS for your device to get unlocked. So wait for the loading bar to finish. After that, the last thing you're gonna do is to enter 0000 in the pop-up window and hit the unlock button. Let it accomplish the unlocking process on your unavailable iPad. When it's completely done, you will see the hello screen appear again. You can now unplug your iPad and go ahead to create a new iPad passcode. And if you happen to have the Find My feature enabled on your iPad, Apple will allow you to remotely remove your forgotten iPad passcode using the iCloud. And to make sure the iPad that you want to unlock is yours, you'll be asked to identify yourself. You're gonna use your Apple ID and password to log into your iCloud account. And also, you will need another device under the same Apple ID to receive the verification code Apple sends to you. Now, let's get it. Open a browser on your iPhone or Mac. Make sure the device you're using now is set up with the same Apple ID you logged on your unavailable iPad. Then enter iCloud.com. You will be lead to a login page. So, type your Apple ID, then the password. When you're in, select the Find My icon. Then on the screen here, you should see a map. All your Apple devices with Find My enabled will be marked on it. So, to avoid delete the passcode on other Apple devices, click the All Devices, and select your unavailable iPad from the list. Here, you finally meet the Erase iPad option. So check the Erase iPad option. Erasing iPad will remove all your personal data along with the forgotten lock screen passcode. So like I said, Apple will send you a confirmation code to make sure that the iPad's owner really wants to do that. When you get the code, verify yourself and then the erasing process will begin. And as you can see, the progress bar is on your unavailable iPad. Keep in mind that the passcode erasing will only happen when your iPad has the network connection. It may take a while depending on the downloading speed. So make sure to keep your iPad connected to Wi-Fi and stay charged. Once done, your iPad will be back to its normal state. You can set up your iPad and use it again. Alright, that's it. If this video helped, please make sure to hit the like button. We'll keep sharing useful tech guides, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to follow more interesting and practical tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.